Swing, 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 swing. Swing, hit the track, hit the track. If I had to recommend one plyometric exercise to do, that's just one, it will be speed bounds. They're great for developing speed, reactivity, hip power, and horizontal and vertical velocity. They can be done by athletes of all ages and abilities. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to learn how to do them, what the key technical points are, what common faults are and how to correct them, what speed bound progressions are, and how you can implement them into your training. They're a unique cross between running and bounding. The objective is to get the thigh to parallel and drive back powerfully through the hip. Hit a thigh parallel to the ground position, strike quickly and move forwards. You develop great amounts of power in doing these particular bounds. Here you can see what I mean by insufficient hip drive. There's not enough extension through the hip and the athlete is projecting upwards rather than forwards. Of all the faults I see, running more than bounding is the key one when trying to do speed bounds. So you've got to avoid letting the heel come up behind the hip when you are pushing yourself forward. That will avoid making the bounding more running orientated. Think of it as stiff legged running. I use speed bounds with all ages of athlete and I find them quite easy to teach for young athletes as you're seeing in the clips on screen now. Having said that, it can take a while. If you key the swing of the hip away and the block, then there's a great likelihood that the athlete is going to be able to speed bound pretty quickly. Okay, let's take a look at some speed bound progressions. Here you're seeing speed bounding into running or sprinting. Basically, you start speed bounding and then start to transition into running. This is achieved by lifting the heel up and moving into the running sprinting action. When you get into sprinting though, you've got to still think about driving and keeping the movements powerful. That way, you're going to get a greater transference. You can also do unilateral speed bounds. Really, they're a form of takeoff drill. The difference being that the trajectory is flat and not up. So, simply a case of swinging one hip forwards, striking the ground, taking a step, swinging that hip forwards again, and as usual, blocking the thigh parallel to the ground and then stamping back down under your center of mass to project yourself forwards. In fact, I found that using single version speed bounds is a great way to teach both takeoff mechanics and the power that's needed from the hip and as a way of leading into bilateral speed bounds. Speed bounds also have a great transference into helping athletes learn how to apply force when starting. So often in a training session, I will do speed bounds and then some form of acceleration work, sprint starts as well. Push down, push down. In my blocks one, two and three of training, which takes us up to the indoor season, we will regularly include speed bounding. This will be once to twice a week in the various formats that I have described. If you'd like to find out more about speed bounding and plyometrics, then do check out some more of the videos on my channel. And if you've got any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video, or indeed any others, then leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. Please do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified as to when I upload new content. And please do also give this video a thumbs up, a like, and good luck with your training and any competitions that you've got coming up. If you'd like to find out more about specific training for the indoor season, then why not consider becoming a channel member? I've just made a video which shows you my detailed training plan for this particular period and a very specific one for an individual athlete who I coach remotely. So you'll be able to see exactly what I do in this phase in terms of reps and sets. And I'll give you further insights into the whys and wherefores. So head over to the channel's main page, click on the join button to see what offers are available. Freelap have just launched a new piece of kit. Now, 
This looks like the TX Junior Pros, the pyramids, yellow pyramids, that record the times as the athletes pass them. But what this one does, it actually gives you the command on your marks and sets the athlete off with a bang. So it emits the sounds through a speaker built into it. It gives you a 10 second lead in once you press the set button and then randomly within I think a two and a half second period, the gun will fire through the device to set you off. Now that triggers the system. So it's going to be a very accurate way to measure starts. If you want to find out more, then do get in contact with me. If you like the Jumps Squad merchandise that I often wear in these videos, then do check out the Spring Store. You'll see the products available underneath this video, for example. And I've launched a new backpack rucksack with the Jump Squad logo on it. So do check that out.